Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and here we have a Mauer S1, a two star SKG Euro cylinder. Now, Mauer do some really cool locks and very high security locks. Uh, they do the, that Mauer red line, which is that dimple lock, which goes, uh, you've got to have it has a key basically which spans both sides of the Euro cylinder. It's very cool. This one is one of their um, lower security locks. It's still two, two star SKG, so it's going to be anti pick, anti bump, those kind of things. Um, and yeah, it's, it's only appears to be like a little five pin version of it, but it should be fun. Nice tight little keyway there. Uh, it's, you know, it's a lot tighter than standard Yale keyway. It reminds me a lot of those uh, Corbin Italy uh, style keyways. So yeah, it should be a fun little lock to pick. The bitting isn't great, I'd say, though it's a bit flat. I have tried raking this um, before I started filming and um, I have to say it didn't break very well. So you've got high and then sort of it goes down from medium to a low, then back to a medium, then um, all the way to the lowest cut. So you've probably got the highest cut there and the lowest cut here, but it's more or less a step down. So it's not a great bitting, not, not a great bitting. Now I have um, already removed this bit of the circlip so we can get rid of that for now, which will remove this part, which means that I can actually put this in a vise. Um, I've got my, little pinning tray there so I'll put that handle there and what I could do in fact is before I put this in a vise is just remove uh, this circlip as well that way the gutting will be a bit easier as well all right see you in a second so I have a uh, short hook here which is a nice little short hook in 0.6 millimeters which is around uh, 20 thousandths of an inch something like that and we're just going to go in and see what we can feel. So uh, already pin three, little click, pin five, little tiny click off pin five, nothing on four, three there, two tiny click, one's binding now, lift that up. Oh, and we went into quite a false set there. So I'm going to go in and see where we are. So I can already tell it's pin four here. Can you see that counter rotation? It's just lifting that turning tool up. So just going to gently ease that. Okay, that, that's okay. But we, um, it feels like we've set that but dropped something else. So let's just go through and see what we, um, might have dropped, pin two maybe, two there. Five, four, three, oh, just hit three, and we have an open. So definitely a very, very, very deep spool. Oh, look at that gr grease and grime. I don't know where that's come from. Probably when I was just taking the lock apart, lots of old dust. Um, but yeah, uh, I definitely, I think I picked pin two which felt like a standard and then pin four was a spool. There might be other spools in there, but I couldn't feel them. So, well, let, let's gut this and uh, find out really. So I have taken all the back off. So uh, we might just be able to follow this out uh, in a standard way. Over there, bring in all the bits I've removed already. You can see that it's just ready to gut. Um, just trying to see where I want those pins to be about there. Uh, I'm thinking though, truthfully, I might use a front follower anyway, just to de-risk this a little. Let's see if I can pop this in. Just because of the tail piece of the lock, it can, they can be a, a real pig. So just make sure that's all done nicely. And we'll take a hook of some kind. What do I have? I just need a hook. What have I done with my actual pick? Oh, here it is. I just need to pull this out. There we go. There we go. That's kept all the pins in. And then we will get what else do I need? A front follower. I'm still using this one, which is a PLA print from Foxy at Red Cat Imaging um, from 
many years ago now, but I still use it because it's great and it works and it's a perfect size. I'll be very sad when the PLA oh, gives away one day. I shouldn't have done it that way around. That was uh, pin five. Let me try the other way. I meant to do it from the top, wasn't paying attention. Uh, so we'll try it. Oh, yep. I have caught the spring. Ah. Luckily, um, I'll just invert the spring so it won't damage it any further, but I'll show you what I've done. Very typical thing for me to do. Not pay attention. There we go. Look at that. I've got a million spare springs, so it's not a big deal. But yes, I wasn't looking what I was doing and I just bent the tip of my spring. But that is five very nice ball in steel. Very nice ball, I have to say. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this backwards. <laughs> oh dear. And I'm not gonna take the springs out at the same time so to damage those as well. There we go. That was standard. Caught that one. That's standard. That was two. That's one which put me into that full set. And then this is one. Let's see if I can catch this one. No, not quite. And this is standard. So we definitely had a spool in four. That's that bent spring in six. There's another spring in one. Oh, come here. And then we'll just have a look at those key pins. I couldn't feel anything different on these. These all felt like standard pins to me. Standard, 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 and standard. So there we go. Let's get my um, tweezers, wherever I put those down. Make sure we line those up nicely. Get off. Very rounded, uh, they do have very rounded pin tips, not particularly sharp. Well, that makes a big difference, but some just have particularly pointed key pin tips. So I'll bring that up close to the camera for you and see what we've got. So they all appear to be, they all appear to be steel or at least plated brass. Um, but these spools are very nice. Look how sharp and deep those spools are. That's why I've got such a good false set. Uh, we also appear to have a steel spring in position uh, the, these all look like brass, and this one looks like a steel spring in position four, which is probably an anti-bump feature. And I've, I've just mashed up a brass spring, but I've got lots of spares, so we should be fine. Um, so yeah, that's the Mauer S1 Euro cylinder. Certainly not a super high lock, um, not as fun to pick as the N Mauer NW4, uh, but still a fun lock with some really good spools. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments about this lock or any other questions, then leave them below. I do read them all and reply to as many as I can. If uh, you haven't subscribed, now's a great time to do so for more content like this, and I will see you all next time.